people look at this and they say it's about art or it's about again a thing and it is and it isn't you know it's it's a lifestyle you know it's it's a way that I choose to go through my life and that um, it gives me a lot of satisfaction a lot of enjoyment I love the people that I work with the process is really everything you know I care that I, I do good quality work and that it have as much longevity as possible for the client for the future but the thing that counts in my life is the process and that starts from the beginning when somebody has a concept that they want to talk about to they take possession they turn the key they drive it off the lot the part in between is the part that I like and it's the part I see every day and it's what I look forward to doing you know every morning when I come to work my name is Jim or James Gray and um, my business is Studio Gray I am a wood carver a stone carver a furniture maker, a sculptor, automobile woodwork uh, craftsman, artist, artisan, all of the above. The first sculpture class I ever took, we had a giant box of clay. We went and we took the clay, said, make a, you know, here's a still life, do a still life, a bowl of fruit or something like that put so much care into it. This is my chance to shine. This is when I, I get to be able to, you know, put the, you know, the outward manifestation of the inward spiritual journey and all that kind of stuff. And I did it. I put it together and he goes, okay, now I want you to take it and throw it back in the bucket. And I was just, you know, the, the British say gobstruck. It's, I was dumbfounded. I, I didn't know what to, to do, but you do it, you know, and, and, you've learned your first really important lesson. It's not about the thing. You know, the thing is important, but it's not about the thing. And if it becomes about the thing, you are tied up and you're like uh, Jacob Marley in the Christmas Carol, where you are dragging heavy chain with lots of boxes on it. It's rattling all the way. You're miserable. It's a, you know, it's purgatory. It's bad. So uh, you don't want to be that guy. And the way you do that is by being in the moment and being present, doing what you do. The collector and the artist are never the same person. You know, the, the artist, if you're good at it and if you care about it, it's about what you will be doing, what you are doing. You know, I, I don't like doing something highly repetitive and I've kind of crafted my life so that I don't have to. You know, I am known as the person that will do the one of, you know, prototypes. I, it doesn't make any difference. If, if you want to reproduce it 10,000 times, it's up to you. But I just, I really like doing, thinking something through. Basically it's problem solving, you know, uh, uh, taking my knowledge and artistic abilities and problem solving. There, there's no guidebook. There's no owner's manual. There's no anything. It's, you know, art will be what you make of it. You have to find joy in, again, the doing. And that will be your reward. And you will find that people want to talk to you about it. And all of a sudden now you have a conversation with the world by being artistic, by exploring new things. Um, all the nuts and bolts, you know, you'll figure that out as you go. You know, the mechanics of it. It's just, the mechanics will come. Uh, it's, it's about being able to be aware. The important part is the doing.